Hey my good friend, Sam Hamart. For Test Driven TV, the Ford display at the Barrett-Jackson Collector Car Auction is always front and center when you walk in the door. And it's eye candy, a lot of great cars and displays that even if you're not a Ford enthusiast, it's a lot of fun to look at. And here's a little bit of what they had in store this year. On display was a wide mix of cars spanning from Ford Performance production models including the new 2017 F-150 Raptor and the Shelby GT350 to highly customized SEMA show cars like the Focus RS and the Hot Wheels Transit Connect, just to name a few. The Raptor was one of the favorites with this being the first time many of the showgoers had seen one in person. Also tough to get close to was the number of Shelby GT350s that were on display and they were open so you could get in and out and touch all their parts. The Ford GT was featured in a prominent spot both in production form here with black and orange stripes and interior bits and the Le Mans race car of Chip Ganassi Racing also spun slow on the turntable. Both of course were well roped off. Shelby American also used the venue for the occasion to unveil their 50th anniversary Super Snake Mustang. At the ceremony with all the dignitaries and fans on hand, the 750 horsepower special edition Shelby is now no longer a secret. Of all the many cars and displays at Ford, one element is always a crowd favorite, and that's the Dino Drag Racing stage where two Mustangs sit side by side, raced against each other with volunteers from the audience all day long. They put a little twist on the game this year by bringing a right-hand drive Mustang to put next to one of our lefties. Both cars were equipped with six-speed automatics, so the right-hand drive Mustang wouldn't present undue challenges for drivers not used to the layout. In any case now, the right-hand drive Mustang shows that it has enough power to win a drag race right here in the good old U.S. of A. At rare sight in North America, the right-hand drive Mustang was an export spec model that likely heads to the UK or Japan or maybe even Australia one day when its show duties are done. In addition to the top performance cars, the display also features several other Ford models including a full line of trucks and SUVs. Now as I said, even if you aren't a Ford fanatic, this is a pretty fascinating place to spend some time and if you are, it's pretty awesome. Now we have two other videos that we shot right there at the same spot. The first is an interview with Jim Owens from Ford Performance who talks about some of their global products and things they're going to be doing in the next year or so. Also, we have the reveal of that 50th anniversary Super Snake. Both of those you can find by clicking on links down below or click right there and see our entire muscle car playlist. They're in there. The other thing I'd like you to do, of course, is subscribe to our YouTube channel because we do a lot of stuff like this. Either way, stay tuned.